Hi, welcome to Pinoy Swiss Abroad. If you're new to my channel, please try to watch in full before subscribing. Thank you. If you want to know more about agriculture and nature here in New Zealand, please listen. The Valet wool grows fast compared to other breeds, so they need shearing twice a year. And today, long-time local shearer Rob Dwyer is in to clip the fleece. They've got at least six inches of wool on, which is quite impressive. It's just a pity wool's not worth anything. Have they got names shrimp? Oh, yes. <laughs> taking out any greasy wool or any of the wool around the eyes, wigs and things like that and any shorts that are also on the fleece. Most of this is quite long so they sort of stand out a bit easier. This is about seven months growth, not bad. <laughs> but with no market established yet for Valet wool, Shireen is primarily using it for crafts. I used to paint a lot. And I came across wall painting, and it's done with needle felt. So you sort of use a felty needle to lay our colours onto a wall background. I think it's ingrained in all of us. We need to be creative. And it does give you a great sense of accomplishment to actually be able to create something. And, you know, we're all creative in different ways. That just happens to be the way I like being creative. Mm. Shereen Bush that has survived on this rugged farm. The conservation area is total 200 hectares. And with this block under the Mabel Hope Restoration Covenant, Shireen aims to replant the area to its original state. Beautiful nature, isn't it? Look at the blue sea. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just down the hill, the Helms family still owns a small block on the outskirts of town, where daughter Joey and her family now... We're on the last little bit of the original Helms farm right here. Um, it's been in the family for a long time. The house was built by my father and my uncle uh, to make it a little bit easier for my mother, Trev, from Flea Bay. Hello, baby dolls. Like her parents, Joey's passion is also in conservation. She and cousin Avril have created a kids' conservation club, bringing school and holiday groups out to the farm. Actually, a natural burrow. So we can have a little pink. So we'll 
back off now. We'll leave them alone. Back. We're conservationists. All we think about is what the next generation can do and what they can learn and where they can go. It's amazing, apart from they doing all the hard work, this is the practicalities of it at all, but it's really, really neat to have the next generation want to carry it on. I don't like rules for these things. It's better advocacy, and it's better to demonstrate what can be done. As the next generation want to carry it out on, that's really gratifying. I hope you like this video and learn something from it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. Please also support Eat Avenue. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po sa mga umabot sa dulo.